Speak your soul. Speak your soul. Just let it go. Let it go. Speak your soul. Speak your soul. Your soul. Let it flow. Let, let it flow. flow. Let it flow. Let it flow. Welcome to another session of Speak Your Soul Sessions. This is Slept On Shay. And wow, it's been almost two months since I've posted a video, which I can never let happen again. I have to be consistent. This is therapeutic. And <laughs> for me and people need to hear these messages. So speaking of therapeutic, it's great uh, to be able to give advice and, uh, you know, try to promote positive messages about love and self-worth, you know, in a way where it's like, hey, giving dating advice, right? But this is kind of event session. There will be advice, but it's, yeah, it's kind of event session. So let me get really raw and real here. So ghosting. I have been ghosted twice, probably more if I really think back, reflect, and count. But ghosting sucks, right? So what is ghosting? Basically, ghosting is when someone completely abandons you without any reason. Like, especially when you're vibing with a person, having a good time with a person, you're really excited, or you never know hear from them again. So it hurts. It's painful because you have all of these high hopes and this anticipation that this future relationship is going to work out. And then, well, ghosted. They just completely leave you. So ghosting feels like the end of the world a lot of times, but you can get over being ghosted. And so without further ado, here is my advice on how to get over being ghosted because it, it hurts the ego, right? You just feel very deflated and depleted and all of that. And nobody likes the feeling of being ghosted no one. I don't care who you are. All right. So number one, it's about them and not you, right? So anybody who has poor communication skills and just can't be honest and keep it real, no matter how much it might hurt your feelings, they are the problem. It's not you. Somebody can't just be like, hey, you know what? I thought I was excited about this potential union, but I'm not. And I just I would like to move on and see other people. It doesn't take a lot to say that. Um, so remember, anybody with poor communication, when you have great communication, it's their problem. They have some more healing to do or they need to be a better person. It's them. All right. Number two. Sometimes ghosting is necessary. I won't sit up here and lie and act like I've never ghosted a person before. I have. But usually in these situations, it was because I felt completely harassed and I did not want to go back and forth with this person. Some people are just toxic. They're very lewd. They're very derogatory. They put you in positions where you might feel unsafe, right? They may be calling your phone a million times, blowing it up, not accepting rejection. People can be stalkers. Whatever the case may be, some people deserve to be ghosted. And I invite you on this one. I know this is going to be hard, but to accept accountability. Were you that person? Were you maybe harassing a person, not respecting their space? Uh, there's many reasons why people are ghosted, but the number one reason is that they're just not into you. So, number three, there are always more fish in the sea. And I know that this is a cliche you've probably heard a million times over, but seriously, Keep waiting. Do not ruminate on being ghosted. For every person that's going to hurt you in life, you could be hurt 52 times, right? And that's a high number is an exaggeration, but you could be hurt 52 times, but it only takes that one time, right? Such a small number, that one time for a person to be a good person and to 
you know, make all of the trauma and the pain from the past just melt away, right? That one person, you could be hurt 52 times. There are still good people out here. When you really know what you want, when you really don't want to align with just body, dating can be harder, but it's not impossible, okay? Okay, don't ruminate on it. Number four, this is a hard pill to swallow, but essentially, no one owes you anything. I think that when it comes to dating, sometimes there's a sense of entitlement that we all have, men, women, anybody, however you identify yourself. Person can absolutely decide that they don't like you. You could be a great person and funny and beautiful and fine and handsome and whatever it is. No one owes you anything. They don't owe you their time. They don't owe you a relationship, unfortunately. They don't owe you the benefit of them being a good person. No one owes you anything. You just stay hopeful, right? You hope that someone will treat you right. You keep that optimistic attitude. However, the reality is just because you're a good person does not mean every person is going to treat you great. And you know that if you're listening to this, you're probably at least, you know, in your 20s, late 20s or 30s plus whatever age you are. And you know this, no one owes you anything. You've you've dated before, you've probably been hurt before and you want things to work out, but sometimes it just doesn't. So we had to sometimes humble ourselves and understand you Sometimes people are going to treat us horribly. It doesn't matter how wonderful we are. And we just have to have acceptance. Just have acceptance. Which brings me to my last point of acceptance. Do not, do not, do not double text a million times. Um, I said a million times. Don't double text. Don't keep texting that person. Don't keep calling that person. That person clearly communicated that they do not want you. So just move on. Also, and this is a big one. If you hear back from that person, how many ever days later, they're like, I'm sorry, uh, you know, this happened. No, 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 no. If a person can go a long time without communicating with you, you know, going back to my poor communication point, just leave them there. Just don't even do it. You want somebody who's consistent. You want somebody who is always thinking about you. And even if that person needs their space for whatever reason, be with someone who is mature enough to communicate that. Somebody has something going on, like, look, I have some family issues going on right now and I can't be emotionally available. You have somebody that can express that, right? Communication is really important. It's a prerequisite. It's basic. You should not be excited about someone communicating effectively. That is just the start to what could be a, a you know beautiful relationship and if people can't even get that right it's time for you to value yourself more and not grovel and and just accept poor communication because what are we doing what are we doing if you can't effectively communicate your emotions what you have going on in your world just know so if you have been ghosted before if you have been recently ghosted, if you have been hurt in any way and it's very fresh and raw and new, I am here to tell you that you can love again. Uh, if you have a great positive attitude and you do the work and the healing, love can come your way. I know that it's so hard to think hopeful and happy things when something horrible is happened to you, has happened to you, and you're in that moment and just feels like I'm done with dating, I'm done with people. No, you you can love again. I'm just here to give you that positive gem of advice. And yeah, I think that's a great place to end. Um oh maybe that's not a great place to end. I did say this is kind of a vent session, right? So my time's being ghosted. Let's let it's story time, I guess. So the first time a guy had 
said he was going to take me out. We had planned when and where and all of that good stuff. And I was just living life, working, uh, spending time with my mom, doing a bunch of stuff, not even thinking about this date um, until me and my mom, you know, we went shopping. Right. And I was like, oh, let me get a dress. And in my mind, I'm like, let me get a dress in, a, you know, his favorite color. All of these little, little things that could make him happy. And my mother was like, well, have you heard from your date all day? You know, have you heard from him? And I was like, you're right, I haven't. So text, tried to call everything. Mind you, this is the day before the date. Blocked. I found out I was blocked on all channels, social media, everything. And that hurt. The second time, I went out with a young man. And you know, we actually went out on the date. And everything was great. He was calling me beautiful. The chemistry was there. The passion. He was intelligent. All of the vibes, right? Everything. Um, but I established boundaries. Long story short, I could tell that this was a very hypersexual young man. And um, yeah, just let's just say that I, there wasn't going to be anything happening Learn that nature on the first uh, wait on that night. I wanted to take my time, fill him out. I was not in a rush for all of that. Let's just say that. Um, and we even talked after the date. And I thought things were okay. thought he really liked me. And three days later, just no communication. Checked in like, hey, are you all right? Made a phone call. And that was that. And I just, well, like I just talked about acceptance. I accepted being ghosted and, you know, the quicker that you get over it, the better, although it's going to be hard, but like the more you waste your time and energy thinking about the wrong people, the longer it will take to find the love of your life. Yeah. Okay. Now I think that is a perfect note to end this on. Thank you so much for listening to this session of Speak Your Soul Sessions. Once again, my name is Slept On Shay, and I hope that you have a good day, afternoon, evening, or night, wherever you are in the world. And remember, if you found this information just very informational, impactful, if you just find my voice soothing and you want to send it to people so they can fall asleep or whatever. Uh, basically, if you liked this video, if you liked it and you just want to go ahead and butcher me and just leave negative comments, I don't care. All feedback is feedback, right? All exposure is exposure, whatever the case may be. Just remember to share, subscribe, comment, all of that good stuff. All right.